Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can swap out or change our motherboard to a new one without formatting our machine. Now, this is not the ideal way of doing things, but it's possible to get around it by removing all the drivers on that uh, machine there that you've got. Because when you plug that uh, hard drive into the new machine, it's going to conflict with the old drivers and the new drivers on the new machine will start to conflict and you would have problems. So the way to get around this, as long as you can get to the desktop and uninstall all the drivers and then shut it down, then when you exchange the hard drive over and the actual motherboard and change it, when you boot up, it will start to recognize new drivers and then install those onto that drive, okay? And you should have no conflictions. Now, really, the best way to do it is do a complete format and rebuild the operating system, and that's probably the best way to go. So as long as you can boot to the desktop and you want to get around it without formatting, then this could be an option for you, okay? So what we're going to do here is go into Control Panel, and then we want to remove anything um, like that's related to the motherboard that's in this machine in a minute because when we swap it out with a new uh, motherboard what's going to happen these drivers are going to be obsolete and they could conflict so here you can see we've got some uh, network drives so we're going to remove those and the best way to do that is just click on these and click uninstall and remove everything in here that's related to this motherboard okay now it wants you to reboot but we're going to say I don't want to do that just yet. So we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, network driver as well. I'm going to remove. Now this does take a bit of time, so you just got to go through. I can see the, here the Intel uh, rapid storage driver. You want to get rid of all that stuff, all this uh, J Micron, JB, uh, JMB. 360x driver you want to give it everything okay now this does as I said take a bit of time so you just have to go through and remove everything now I'm not going to bore you and go through everything here but I would remove everything that I think will cause a problem um, sound drivers all that sort of stuff that's related to the old motherboard has to go okay otherwise you're going to end up with conflictions and then once you've done that you can also come into this area here Go to Device Manager, and you want to remove all your USB drivers and everything like that, okay, from here. Anything you can see that's uh, like this, any sound stuff, you want to remove all that stuff, okay. And once you've completed all that, you could uh, take all the drive out, take all the motherboard out, and put your new motherboard in, and then when you boot up, it will find all... Uh, new hardware and then you put your drivers back on and hopefully you should be back up and running so we're just going to remove everything here I'll restart later so I'll do the uh, graphics drivers here as well and once I've done all that I'll remove the other stuff now I may have a bit of trouble recording here once I've done this So all we've got to do now is remove our motherboard from the case and put in our new motherboard. Now you can also build a complete new computer and keep your uh, drive, your hard drives and move those across and do it in that method like I'm going to be doing, okay? So if you're just swapping out your motherboard, you're okay. And if you completely build a new computer and just want to keep your drives as they are, then you can still follow this same process, okay? So once we've removed this from the case, we're pretty much good to go. Now, as you can see here, we've got our motherboard, chip and RAM and heatsink removed from the system. And this is good enough to use in another build. And we can do that in another video. Now, as you can see here, we're just going to place our new motherboard into our new build. And we're pretty much good to go from there. Now, if you want to see the full build, you can watch my other, my other videos and you'll see the full build uh, once I've uploaded that video. But that will be later on in the week, okay? So once we've done this, we can then uh, boot that system up and then put all our drivers back on. Uh, to that computer okay so I've completed the uh, computer build now and what we've got here is a working PC and it's running just fine everything's running smooth what I've done is reinstalled all the new drivers 
uh, and it's a completely different motherboard compared to the last one. The last motherboard was an Asus motherboard and this one is an MSI motherboard. Now as I said as long as the PC is bootable if your if your motherboard died and you had to replace it then obviously this way would not be possible but I'll show you quickly um, it's a different machine or different motherboard and you can come into here and you'll see all the programs are still there which we've got uh, the only thing that's different here is all the drivers and you'll see um, all the drivers for MSI and NZXT uh, that's the build uh, that I've done and you'll be able to watch that video on my YouTube channel and you can see here as well um, you can see all the MSI drivers are all installed now and the new um, NVIDIA drivers as well so let me just quickly show you um, the uh, device manager and as you can see here uh, we've got device manager I'll quickly uh, just go through here and you'll see the display driver is now the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 and it's working just fine there's no problems as long as you follow the the uh, video that I showed you of removing all the drivers you should be back up and running make sure you remove all the USB drivers all the chipset drivers and stuff like that and you should have no problems whatsoever now again ideally you should really uh, format the machine and rebuild the operating system but I've just done this one and there's a lot of stuff on here that I can't be bothered uh, to install again but I'll probably will do it at a later date and as you can see here all the drives working fine and that's basically how you can swap out a motherboard for a new motherboard without formatting your machine and rebuilding the operating system so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now if you've got any problems with your computers you can always head over to the forum and join the community over there. And uh, we can help you out and try and get you back up and running. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.